Being in Uganda and having an LGBT child is basically the worst shame that can come on any family. They blame my mother for how she raised me. The risk doesn't just come to you, it also transfers to your family, which for me is very heartbreaking. Like, for example, my mom shouldn't have to answer questions about why I'm that way. I've always tried to do everything right, you know, good, get good grades, go to university, you know, don't drink, like all the things that normally would bring shame to a family. Like I try to avoid all those things. So for me not to be able to change my sexuality or stop the work I'm doing, it makes me very, very guilty that I have, you know, she has to go through all that, like she doesn't deserve it. My mother has said so many things to me, but the worst for me was when she told me, I'm going to actually hand you over to police if you don't change or stop the work you're doing. That for me was very painful because I'd always told her the kind of things that people face when they're taken to jail as LGBT, you know, forced isolation, and in the case of lesbians, there's been cases of corrective rape. So it was very painful for me that she she was even thinking about the idea of handing me over to police. That, that is one of the most painful things I've had coming from someone you love and you, you, know, you try to take care of, like you do everything right, you know. So for her to say such a thing was very heartbreaking. It was, it's been very difficult for the last five months. Uh, like you feel like you're burning out. Um, I've, I've not had suicidal thoughts, uh, thankfully, but you, you feel weak, you know, because usually you're getting more bad news than good news, and how do I remain strong and remain defiant in the face of all these pressures? My name is Biagawa Claire. I'm from Uganda and I work for the Civil Society Coalition on Human Rights and Constitutional Law as the co-coordinator. On paper, I'm a criminal, I guess, but because I'm an activist, I also don't internalize that identity. Like, I don't say, if people say I'm a criminal, like, if, if people ask you, are you a criminal or not, I'll say no, even if the feeling is there, even if there's a law, like, I'm just a law-abiding, lesbian woman who is just trying to live in peace.